This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. In today's episode, Malala welcomes Robert Thompson, Dean Blades, and Ken Fetters in the reintroduction of The Bulletin. Hello there, I'm Robert Thompson. I'm the Editor-in-Chief. This is Dean Blades. He's the publisher. This is Ken Fetters. He's the Manager of Circulation. Now you may be wondering what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is the reintroduction of the Bulletin. Now the Bulletin was a publication here in Malala back in the 70s and 80s that was begun by a print shop called Malala Printing and Graphics. And we're bringing that back to life. So what we're doing here, we're going to have a circulation in Malala, Malino, and Colton. It's going to initially be a bi-weekly paper, though we plan to transition to weekly. We've just got to get up and running first to get things kind of ducks in a row, so to speak. And with that, I'm going to pass this over to Dean, the publisher, and I'm going to pass over the screwdriver to Dean here and let him talk a little bit about the ideas behind the publication. So the idea of the bulletin came about when we were sitting around uh, the table over at the main shop with Ken, Robert, and I uh, about doing something to support our local community a little bit more and how we could go about doing that. And Ken actually brought out a copy of the old bulletin that Irish Riley had provided him from the Historical Society. Um, that paper gave us a lot of insight and ideas about things that used to go on in the community and we felt that was a really great uh, way to distribute information that was really basically you know, focused locally. And so um, the idea was kind of born from that. And uh, in doing that, we are, we are bringing it back and we are gonna charge a five cent fee to purchase the paper, which you know is, is a very low price, but it's also something that we wanted to do for the community and also give them the ability, or give us the ability to give back to the local community because that donation you give us for the paper is going to be donated to a local charity every quarter and uh, we'll be announcing who that charity is and where that money is going to be going and I, I think it's just a great way for us to, to give back to the community and we hope that you'll support us in that. So um, with that I'm going to let Ken kind of talk to you about what kind of content and things we're going to be putting in the paper so here you go Ken. Well our content in the bulletin is going to all be locally generated. There'll be local writers, uh, local contributors who are going to uh, add content to the bulletin. We'll have columns from the Historical Society, the library, a business page. There will be a mystery serial from local writers so every week or every issue there will be a new piece to the mystery story. There'll be a public safety column. There'll be kids pages and coloring, a uh, garden and cooking column, uh, there'll be events calendar, so different organizations can advertise their events in the calendar. There'll be a city column, so the city can provide information that needs to get out to the community. And there'll be also health and fitness and wellness types of um, columns in the paper also. So advertising on the bulletin is going to come in two forms. There's the print advertising and there's the web adver advertising. Now that advertising is all included in the price, of course. So the, the web advertising is also going to link directly to your site, so that's an added bit of exposure there for you, too. So if you use Facebook or you have a website for your business, it's going to go straight there. And that's about it for that. Let me pass this over to Dean now, and here you go. So uh, we were talking about some advertising and things like that, and what uh, our content ads, you might be wondering what that is about, but for local businesses that would like to maybe get more in depth in what you can do in an advertisement is we're going to be offering some content ads so if you uh, buy a quarter page ad you're also going to get a quarter page of of article space to basically talk about your business and it can either be educational it can just you know basically get more information out about your business and um, with that it kind of doubles, doubles your exposure that you're going to get so uh, we encourage you to look at that option as well if you're looking at advertising with us. So, so with our content ads, we really hope that you will uh, take a look at that option because it's a good way to basically get your business uh, some more exposure and for people to understand more about what your business does. So with that, we would really like to encourage you to take a look at that if you're a, a business that maybe isn't 
super well known or people don't understand what you do, I think it's a great way for you to get that exposure. So uh, with that, I hope that you'll look at uh, advertising with us because I think we've got a lot of opportunities out there for you. So thank you. In conclusion, there's two ways to get a hold of us if you would like to get a hold of us at the bulletin. The first one is through email, which is PNW, as in Pacific Northwest Bulletin, so PNW Bulletin at gmail.com. The second way is to talk to Dean here at his shop, Triangle Design and Print, which is over at 114 Ingle Street. And just drop by. He's there from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Just stop in, say hello, and ask him whatever questions you may have. We hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining us on our adventure. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.